back to the channel, I probably went into vids, and this is my thoughts on the breaking news of the signing of Hamas So Tambour Fidia for the Dolphins for the 2023 season. He's the official marquee signing, I would assume anyway, since he's joined the Dolphins on a three-year deal, and um, they're signing him in a really big position as well for fullback for long term, as I believe that's what Hamas So wanted to have for the long term position of fullback. So it's a good pickup, it's a great signing, and I believe that, you know, he'll um, definitely add a lot to that Dolphins team, especially being coached under. Wayne Bennett, who's obviously the master and obviously such an experienced coach and will do a good job in terms of getting the best out of Hamasai, I reckon. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to do wonders at Dolphins, in my opinion. I think that, look, it's unfortunate. For First of all, it's unfortunate the Cowboys had let him go because obviously he was touted as the future of the club for many good reasons because he was obviously showing so much great form for that Cowboys team. And um, yeah, it was it was just an indication that he could, be, could have been a long-term option for the Cowboys, but... Unfortunately, when he got injured and sort of lost his spot at fullback, um, Scott Drinkwater took advantage of that. And, uh, you know, he's probably the more preferred long-term option at fullback now. And obviously, Cowboys, you know, back five is pretty, pretty much set with guys like Tulangi, Hiku, um, <clears throat> you know, Felt all taking up those spots home, playing great footy. So it kind of left Hammers, so left nowhere in the, in the back line or starting team somewhere. So he had, had to come off the bench as a Jersey 14 role, which isn't his role. So I guess now the Dolphins, you know, gets a bit of opportunity there, starts more starts more often now, gets a chance to, I guess, just play consistent footy now because I believe that he's a consistent first grader with so much potential and, yeah, he's he's a fantastic player, and uh, I knew Dolphins were going to pull off a big signing eventually. Just didn't, didn't know when they'll pull off a big signing, and they did it. So, Hammers on a three-year deal from 2023 to 2025 is really good for them, I reckon, and also pick up for them and their future. And uh, yeah, he'll learn a lot on the way, and I think that he'll explode next year. So, from what I think about it so far, I think fullback will be Hammers. So, uh, the wingers will be Edric Lee and Jamana Saka, and the centers will be Brenko Lee. And you and Aiken and the Harsby, Milford and uh, Sean O'Sullivan, which is their back line so far. So, not bad, but nothing nothing amazing either. I think Hamaso is definitely a stand-up player, so, which is what they need. They need a marquee player, and I think Hamaso is that. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Hamaso tapping my field against the Dolphins on a three-year deal. Very good pickup, great pickup for the Dolphins, and a bit, bit of a loss for the Cowboys. But, you know, I didn't think his future was very long with the Cowboys anyway, with all the other players in front of him playing too well for him for Hamaso to start. So... Unfortunate, but it is what it is. But um, yeah, what are your thoughts on the sign of Hammerso Tab by Philly out going to the Dolphins and 3G? Let me know in the comment section down below. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the very next one.